You know, no, and I don't think it's anything serious. I think he just had a little bit of general soreness and he took him off the cross-train after I heard a lot of him between periods, played two shifts in the second and just took him off. The game got pretty spirited from you know the beginning to the end, eventually near the end. But, uh, yeah. Talk about uh, you know Hannafin's play to start it off first, a uh, great rush up play. Yeah, I got the fourth man in the rush. I thought Noah skated real well tonight. He was dangerous and that's kind of what we've seen at the end of last year too, you know, from the Basically, Christmas on, he was that type of player. And now in the preseason, it's a little bit scrambly with all the young guys you know, on both teams playing. And you don't know what people are now that it's a little bit more structured. I thought he played real well. And you can see his skate. He took off with the puck in front of our bench there in the third, too. And I think he beat all three forwards. And the next thing you know, we're in the O zone. So that was probably his best game in the preseason. For a team that's had trouble with shootouts. Different skill level on this group from years past, I believe. Like, you know, there's six or seven guys are in the conversation when you talk about who you want to go to next. Uh, you know, we've got Lindy that we, we could use, we've got Noah that we could use. Well, there's a lot of different options now, but uh, I wanted to make sure we went to, back to Tate and get a look at what he does. I thought he had confidence in his move up in uh, Sault Ste. Marie against Buffalo, and obviously he's got more than one move. So he went back to his forehand here and scored tonight. So. So it's nice to have different options that you have a lot of confidence in. And Skinny's two for two, and that's what he does. He scores goals. And I thought he's been excellent uh, through the preseason. And at the time that I was gone, I got real good feedback from the coaches and management about how hard he's worked. And he's taken a step. He's taken a step since the trade deadline last year with his game and uh, wants to be a difference maker. Tara Vinan and Aho, I felt like I saw some glimpses of what they could do. Maybe the timing wasn't quite there. Is that yeah. something that you're just hoping comes in that first five, ten games and then all of a sudden it meshes? Well, I think it'll mesh. I think it'll come together for sure. I think with the Seabass, there's a lot of things going on, right? He's a first year over in North America. He's in the National Hockey League. He's got two new line mates. Like, there's a lot of newness for him. But I'll tell you what, they're good defensively. I, I trust them. They can play against anybody at any time. So that'll all come together. We've got Lindy taking face-offs tonight and then we can get, you know, table where Seabass taking him on the left side. So we'll evolve there and uh, continue to become a deeper team. That was something that was talked about a little bit before where you were with Canada early in training camp with AHO and kind of meant, you know, moderating some of the expectations that built up over the summer when he was playing the World Juniors oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Is, you, do, do you have to pump the brakes with him a little bit at all? No, I, I just know he's responsible. I know he cares. I know he works hard. He has great hockey sense. So I, I just trust him. I just know that he's going to do the right thing, make good decisions when he's on the ice for a mature player. And, you know, he had a post here tonight, so it looks like he doesn't have anything on the score sheet. I don't know if he had any points, but a real good play hits the post. That goes in, we're talking about him on a, you know, on a pace to score an X amount of goals, and we're not going to do that to him. It's not fair. It's just a smart player, a complete player, a uh, real bright future. And McEwen, you were wanted to see a look at him tonight. He probably ended up playing a little bit more than you yeah. expected him yeah. to, given well, the circumstances, but yeah. seemed solid, especially second. Oh, he was, he was real good. He was solid, continued on a real solid start to, you know, to training camp and allowed us to have lefty and righty in all three pairs until Falker went down. But, you know, a young guy's got a mature game again. Like, uh, you got to learn how to play the game. you got to know the pro game, the National Hockey League game. It's different from junior. It's different from the American League. And you got to be able to make plays when uh, when there's plays to be made. So I thought he did that. Uh, I think he's getting better all the time. He'll have a good week coming up to practice with us, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. You like Stanley with George and Jordan? Well, I like him everywhere. I thought I, I wanted to get him a little up and down the lineup a little bit here today. I wanted to make some changes, and then we lost Phil, and the kind of game was going good there for a while, two nothing, and I thought we were doing doing well. So I didn't want to. And mess with things a whole bunch. I just know he's a guy that he can basically count on between 15 and 20 goals, knows how to play again. Our, our, our team's hockey sense uh, from my first year till today is night and day. And that's not a discredit to people we had earlier. It's just these guys know the game. They think the game, and when we talk on the bench, we talk on the ice, it's just a different level. So that's that's a very comforting thing. They know how to manage the clock. They've won. You've got Brian Bickle, who's won, talking on the bench, talking about puck management, getting pucks deep, making their D turn, and that's a soothing feeling for a coach. These guys know they're, they're coaching themselves, and I'm just managing it. Talk about Hannafin, you know, obviously picking up his play from last season, then you got Slavin kind of stepping in as that de facto number one tonight, and he looked really good, and then he finishes it off. Yeah, 
Well, you know what? They're both real good players, and Pesh was real good too. So when Falker went out, Pesh went on the power play. These guys, they, they played huge minutes last year. You remember, if, if I'm not wrong, it's around 22, 23 from the deadline in for, for Jacob. And then he had a real good summer, spent a lot of time here training with our strength coach. And, and it's, that's the type of stuff that we want to see, and it's going to pay off. So he's a committed guy, a very mature guy. And, uh, you know, we kind of knew what he was going to do there in the shootout. I hope he's got more than that one because uh, it's going to grow old around the league here in a while. So hopefully he's got something he's else. Got one. He, he told me he wasn't going to do one. it. He said he had something else yeah, in mind. Well, that he <laughs> yeah, so maybe I'll have to every three months use him. So we'll see. But uh, he's got a lot of confidence, good player, skates, skates well. And that's the modern game. All the guys on the back end that are effective skate the puck out of trouble and, and have transition ability amongst themselves. And that, that's our D right now. Noah skates. Ron Hainsey's been outstanding, Falker skates, Jacob skates, and our young guys all skate too. So our, our credit to our scouts and our management group for drafting the right type of players for the way the game's headed. Bill, you talked about some of the things you've liked in the preseason in this group. You've got some time now. What do you want to address over the next couple of days to get ready for Winnipeg? Well, we've got lots. We've got lots. We've got a, we haven't spent enough time in the D-zone. D-zone transition is something that we have to do. We have to spend more time four on four, three on three. You haven't spent a lot of time in those scenarios. And, uh, you know, just those types of situations and explain. Now we can slow down and, and talk to the guys why we do something. We're telling them to do something, and they're probably wondering why we do it a certain way. Now we can slow down and explain. Um, we're still, tomorrow in our skate, we'll be at 18 forwards, 8D, and two goals is still big. But we will get down after tomorrow. And then it'll be a more manageable group where you get reps. Like tomorrow in practice, we're going to go short. I think Notre Dame's in town. We've got some bad weather. We want to get in, get out, get our work done. But when you've got 18 forwards, that's a whack. So you're not yeah. getting as many reps as you want. So the, those reps will start coming later later in the week. You talked about pace of play and Giuseppe's energy showed, you know, with the hit and so forth. And then he left the game for a little bit. How, how have you seen his progression from the end of last season, him getting injured? And he, it looks like he's just jumped right back in playing his game, as he calls it. Well, he's, he is playing real well. He's been outstanding, to be honest with you. His pace is what I love about him. He, you know, he gets in and gives Victor and skinny pace when he's on that line. He can get in on the fourth check. Obviously, the finish check tonight was clean, you know, as clean as could be. We know that. Everybody knows that in the game. You don't want to take that out of the sport. So he goes in and finishes the check. Next thing you know, they're challenging him and all of a sudden now they're down a pretty good D-man. So he had an impact in the game, just the way he plays. And uh, it's funny, I was talking to some people at the University of Michigan here in the last little bit and they ran into him this summer and talked about the maturity and how, how much more mature he is as a person. And his game has continued to grow. He's really committed himself the last two summers and, and that's what we want all our young pros to do. And we want a real competitive environment here and we're on our way to getting that. He said that was his first fight. College or yeah, I don't. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. It's kind of a surprise. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Credit to him. He answered the bell and you know, did what he had to do. He, he's a guy who wants to make our hockey team by the looks of it. Felt good with Cam's game tonight. Last question. Yeah, real good. I thought Wardle. Uh, you know what? He gave up. I think we're averaging two against through the preseason. I know both goaltenders have been real good. We give up a chance to win each and every night. So you know, I hope that.